നമസ്കാരം വെൽക്കം ടു ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് മോഡ്യൂൾ ഇൻ ദിസ് മോഡ്യൂൾ വി വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് എ പാർഷ്യൽ ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻ ഫോമേഷൻ ഓഫ് പാർഷ്യൽ ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഹൗ ടു സോൾവ് സം സ്പെഷ്യൽ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് പാർഷ്യൽ ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ബിക്കോസ് ദർ ഈസ് നോ ജനറൽ മെത്തേഡ് ഫോർ സോൾവിംഗ് ഓൾ ദ പാർഷ്യൽ ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് വി ക്യാൻ സോൾവ് വൺ ക്ലാസ് ഓഫ് പ്രോബ്ലം വിത്ത് വൺ മെത്തേഡ് അനദർ ക്ലാസ് വിത്ത് അനദർ മെത്തേഡ് ഓക്കെ for solving some real world problems we have to solve partial differential equations we will see two concrete applications of partial differential equations and fourier series in second module an equation involving partial derivative is called a partial differential equation i think all of you might be familiar with the partial derivatives anyway i will just brief a few basic things suppose y is a function of x then the rate of change of y with respect to x is called the derivative of y with respect to x and it is denoted by dy by dx suppose z is a function of two variables x and y then there are two rate of changes for z one is with respect to x and other with y globally for representing partial derivatives curved d is used instead of normal d so z has two first order partial derivatives for getting second order partial derivatives we have to differentiate these two first order derivatives by x and y then what are the second order derivatives yes there are four second order derivatives but in applications these two are same that means the value of derivative does not depend on the order of differentiation these are the notations for representing partial derivatives p q r s and t one of the application of partial derivative is in machine learning partial derivative is the backbone of back propagation an equation involving partial derivative is called a partial differential equation for example dz by dx equal to 0 here we assume that z is function of xy another example is x into dz by dy whole raised to 4 Minus 3 times d square z by dx dy equal to sin xy. Next, we are going to define order of PDE. It is the order of the highest derivative that occurs in PDE. In this first example, there is only one derivative which is first order. So, order of this PDE is 1. second example involves two derivatives first one is first order and second one is second order so order of this pde is 2 next we are going to discuss geometrical interpretation of partial differential equations consider an ordinary differential equation d square y by dx square equal to 0 geometrically what does this mean for understanding the geometry first we solve this ode integrate this differential equation with respect to x then we get dy by dx is equal to c1 where c1 is an arbitrary constant again we integrate with respect to x then we get y is equal to c1 x plus c2 where c1 and c2 are arbitrary numbers so this differential equation is equivalent to this family then what is this this is of the form y is equal to mx plus c we know that that is a straight line but c1 and c2 are arbitrary so by putting different values of c1 and c2 we get different different straight lines so in general this is nothing this is set of all straight lines okay so this second order differential equation represents this family 
it is the family of all straight lines okay so in general OD represents family of curves similarly GD represents family of surfaces we can represent family of surfaces in two different ways for example consider set of all planes passing through origin we can represent this family using this equation z is equal to ax plus by where a and b are arbitrary numbers another example is set of all surfaces which are independent of x we can represent this family using using the equation z is equal to f of y where f is an arbitrary function for example suppose f of t equal to t square then this this surface become z is equal to here f is t square so f of y become y square this is nothing this is a paraboloid in 3d similarly if we choose f of t as sin t square then the surface corresponding to this function is z is equal to sin y square similarly by choosing different different functions f we get a family of surfaces so we can represent family of surfaces in two different ways one is using arbitrary constants other is using arbitrary function okay next we are going to discuss how to form partial differential equations from a given family of surfaces for example find the pde corresponding to the family z is equal to ax plus by where a and b are arbitrary constants already we have seen that this family is a set of all planes passing through origin to form the corresponding pd we differentiate this equation with respect to x and y so first we differentiate with respect to x so what happen dz by dx is equal to a this implies p equal to a next we differentiate this equation with respect to y then we get dz by dy equal to b this implies q equal to b then we substitute a equal to p and b equal to q in this equation then we get the corresponding pd so the corresponding pd become z is equal to a become p so px plus py so this is the pd corresponding to this family okay so the answer is z is equal to px plus qy where p and q are the partial derivatives consider the second problem find the pd corresponding to the family z is equal to z is equal to f of y where f is an arbitrary function to find the corresponding partial differential equation we have to eliminate this arbitrary function f from this equation it is clear that the right hand side function is a function of y alone so we simply differentiate this equation with respect to x then what happen dz by dx is equal to uh, here the right hand side is a function of y alone so if you differentiate with respect to x this becomes zero so the pd corresponding to this family is nothing p equal to zero so this is the answer so we can form the pd in two different ways one is by eliminating arbitrary constant other is by eliminating arbitrary functions okay i think now all of you have understood what is a partial differential equation and how to form partial differential equations in the next lecture we will solve more problems related to formation of pd by method of elimination of arbitrary constants okay thank you